So it's four o'clock in the morning and I think it's high time I explain why I'm pushing my kids around in the wheelbarrow all the time. The reason we're up so, so early is because we are headed to Charles Knife Canyon. Sun comes up at seven o'clock this morning. So we're gonna head to Charles Knife Canyon and watch the sunrise. And on top of that, I've also got a massive announcement for what we've got planned next. The rest of 2023 is gonna be pretty freaking loose. So definitely stick around to find out what I've come up with, cause it's some next level stuff. Okay, well, in case you missed it, or in case everything I just said was completely incoherent, this is the story of how I pushed my kids 500 k's in a wheelbarrow, and uh, we're just about to head out to Knife's Edge, Knife's Edge Canyon, a freaking canyon down from Exmouth, and we're gonna go watch the sun come up uh, out there over the canyon, so. It's 4 a.m., and uh, we're ready to go. Yep, I'm just making my bed. What's that? And I'm just making a bed. Good job, yeah, thanks, good. darling. Well done. You having a good nana? I'm having a nana. Amazing. I good job. Her if she to work for she said yes, I Thanks, darling. Yeah. And you had your nana? Yep. Good job. Mm. Yeah. Is that your bum? I did a fart. Oh my goodness. <laughs> goodness <laughs> me. Okay, let's go. Get going, Callie, because you got a jumper. Um. Right, there you go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Well, yeah, I did a fart. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Let's go. It's high tide. Nice. Right, awesome. If I leave this day, give me in my shoes. I my bike. No, we're not bringing the bikes. Oops. Oh, there you go. It was a good idea to bring a jump up. I reckon. You should have got a long sleeve, Dad. Yeah. Let's go pick up Let's go to the goat chain for over 10. Twelve and a half k's on day twelve, which puts us at two hundred and twelve and a half kilometres. We're still, I think, 20, 20 k's ahead of schedule, so we had a bit of leeway there. So still well and truly on track, and I'm going to knock out some more half marathons anyway. And I've thrown the wheelbarrow up on the roof. And as you can see, I've got a nice, nice tyre track on my on my tart cars. How you going, Hallie? You all right? Yeah. Had a good morning. True. Someone was fannying around all morning. Well, it's fair to say that the novelty has worn off. Day 13. Monkey Lou. Hello, how do you do? I haven't done, I haven't washed the dishes. I haven't washed the clothes. Good morning. Giving them a couple some kisses. Well, day 14. And I'm trying not to fall asleep on the floor. And I had a feeling that's what my face looked like. Dad a bit tired. Just did a, a phone interview with New Idea magazine. Which I believe is what all the single mums like to read. And elderly ladies. So we're going to be in, uh, in New Idea and I'm going to buy a copy of that and put it up in the boat. I should also add that the reason why I'm so tired is because I have been up all night 
uh, not all night, but I've been up late each night ed editing together footage um, to try and piece something together about the trip and the journey up here so that we can have some stuff on our YouTube channel to uh, for people to watch. So, and the importance of doing it before this weekend is that we've got sunrise tomorrow and I would like to have some stuff on the channel so that people might actually watch it and hopefully we can be a little less broke all the time. Which should be very nice. It's coming at a cost, so getting to bed at like 11, 30, 12 o'clock and then I'm awake at quarter to five, 4.45 4 in the morning. And then we're running by 5.30 and then playgrounds and then everything else. So it's just, um, it's catching up on me. Tanks firm, there are worse ways to wake up, that's for sure. Okay, the steer's out towards there. Good job. It's, uh, it's day 16, we're going to crack 250Ks, but um, we had the, uh, the sunrise interview yesterday. Hallie, come back chicken. We had the sunrise interview and uh, that aired all across Australia and basically, you know, Instagram went off and I managed to get the first episode out. But it's really been a pretty astounding response to, to what we're doing and, uh, and to not just the charity, but the sale up here, hey? Ball no, it's cricket ball. Just the response to the the trip that we're doing, and you know what I'm doing with the kids, and and the charity as well has been outrageous. You know, so many people have been getting behind it, so really cool. And hopefully, I can think about that today when I'm running and not wanting to be running. Day 17. After today, we'll be at 275 kilometres. The girls are in their denim. Looking good, girls. Sure does. Have you got any pockets, Isla? Yeah, she's got one, two, three, four, five. Bum pocket. I made a bum pocket. Yeah, you got a bum pocket. I've got this one and this one and this one and this one. Amazing. This one. What are they called, Isla? Bum pocket. That's right, bum pockets. Yeah, bum Yeah. Oh, yeah, the yeti. Check it out. Another epic find. Well, it's blowing its absolute tits off. 15 k's out, and we're just turning around, we're going to go with the wind. We got 30 k's in, um, it took us such a long time because of the headwinds. Day 19, we did 30 k's yesterday, um, and I don't know, some days I wake up and I look around and I just do it. It is a, an amazing morning and a beautiful day, and I think it's just Depends on how much sleep I got the night before, and I had a really good sleep. But I'm just letting the um, I'm just letting the girls have a sleep. It's highly done now. But young Isla Moo's still still asleep. It's been really awesome doing this fundraiser. The attention we've gotten for some of the decisions that I've made has been really welcome, um, and for the most part. In fact, it's all been positive. There hasn't been any negative feedback, you know. 
maybe people are just keeping it to themselves the old if you haven't got something nice to say don't say it at all but I mean ultimately fuck them if they did, <laughs> if they did it would not would not affect me in the slightest but you know to take such big risks to try and get something to work out to live and do something that's that's different to what everyone else does and then you know to have it work out was the first real achievement to get up here and and be able to do it but then to have all these people turn around and go oh my god this is amazing it's like very reconfirming you know we might not have all the money in the world but um we certainly have a very a very specific lifestyle that um i think a lot of people are interested in so anyway we've still got to run today 16 k doesn't really seem that far after running 30 yesterday oh, we'll have a coffee let the girls wake up nice and slow. Then get out. run our case for today and we've done well, we've done it up again yeah. we've run 13 k's today so that puts us dead in line with what we're supposed to have done Rainbow Poop Dad. Yeah. Excuse yeah. me. I am You are a lovely Isla. Oh, it's Rainbow Dad. No bloody respect. Uh, Monkey Dad. There's no respect in this boat, I'll tell you now. You are a Puckle Dad. A Puckle Dad? Yeah. A Puckle? What's a Puckle? Uh, a Puckle. Well, we've got a discount on Scotch fillers at the butchers they were going to throw it out but uh, we just stuck it in the freezer it's fine and so we got six kilos six kilos of scotch fillet <laughs> and it is ooh la la ooh la la magic. can anyone say ooh la la ooh la la what about delicioso 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 what about chobani 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 Chobani! <laughs> Chobani! Chobani is the yogurt that we have. I think I think we've run out, but that's the yogurt that the girls eat. Oh Jesus Isla. This is this is Isla's baby as well. Which is the inside of Bedtime Bear. That sings a lullaby, so that's Isla's baby. Let me show you what happens. She's very attached to it. Stop pressing buttons, honey. Yeah. I've spent many a night adjusting bedtime baby's volume and function well it is humid really really humid today the flies are out there's no wind and uh, the girls are fine but I'm hurting a bit servo snacks it's got Hallie we've also got these awesome new signs These flies, man. God damn. What do you like most about being in the wheelbarrow? Well, I like most being in the wheelbarrow. Mostly I like the running and the sometimes it's strong. What's your monkey? What's your monkey called, Isla? Monkey. 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 Monkey.
myself Got burned, but I learned Our scars make us who we are Now I'm ten feet tall over my demons Remind me no one's got me like myself Yeah, I love me without any help well, 16, nearly 17 K is done for today. So we start again tomorrow. So yesterday we gave a mate uh, a hand with his groceries, getting him into town and back. And uh, as he's coming up the uh, down the pontoon walkway, his paper bag is split, and he's lost half of his groceries. And he managed to, he managed to catch it all before it uh, before it fell under, except for one can that went in the water. And it's now low tide. We just spotted it, so we're going to go retrieve his can for him. It looks like maybe Campbell's soup. I'm pretty sure. Chicken and carrot chicken. What a save. What's it got, got in it? Chicken and carrot in it. Chicken and carrot, beautiful. Yeah. Shano, we've got your I soup. Chicken. We'll drop it around later. Um, day 30, we've got 37 kilometers remaining of the 500. We've got a whole bunch of people, it's nearly 5.30, we've got a whole bunch of people meeting us at the park, allegedly, there may be no one, we'll see, soon find out. And uh, we're gonna run today. Um, I mean, we could do the 37 today, but I don't think it's gonna happen. We'll see, see how we feel. But uh, 10.30, there's a barbecue and a, uh, a sausage sizzle and the radio, local radio host is coming down. And um, technically, I've still got tomorrow as well. So to be honest, I could just do 20Ks today and then 17 tomorrow, and I think that would be perfectly fine. Perfectly fine with me. <laughs> Good job, chicken. Thanks, Dad. What are you doing? There he is, good run to me. Well, that is going to make things a little bit difficult. Right, we'll go to we'll go to Shot Hole Canyon instead. What do you think, girls? We're here. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna wait for the sunrise. Wait, I thought we were gonna go outside. Yeah, we will. Yeah, we're gonna go walk up there. We've actually, because I was planning on going to Charles Knife Canyon, we've actually gotten here like an hour early and there's not much of a bushwalk here. So it looks like we're gonna have to wait around and I reckon we just chill out for a bit until until it's a bit closer to sunrise because it's cold out there. But we actually, no, let's go look at the stars. Do you wanna go look at the stars, girls? Yeah, let's go check the stars out. 
Go, Hallie, go. Do you want to walk up the stairs, Ola? Oh. Yeah. Do you go up the stairs or are you a bit, are you a bit tired? Yeah. Tired. Oh, yeah. okay. I'll carry it off. I wouldn't want it, Dad. What's that? But it was... I wouldn't want it. We just got to the top of the wall. Well, it's like it's like 100 metres, but we just got to the top, and we can see the outline of the canyon, and the sun's just coming up when the stars are still out. And you've got the red just coming through the canyon. It's going to be unreal. Ready? No. I got you. I got you. I got you. All right. Time to turn this off and enjoy it. Honey, my trouble mind ain't wandering when you're sitting there. Cause you comfort me like a singing bird in the dead winter. Like an old gospel song to the eve of the sea. That was awesome. We uh, we saw the sun come up and uh, and it was beautiful. There's a, a couple of people turned up and they're all still up on the hill. But so that leads to the big announcement, which is it's been eight months since that wheelbarrow fundraiser, and that's gone really fast. So due to our motor issues, we can no longer sail north because there's there's just too much involved in doing that. And I had I did debate it, but I'm giving myself another month to get everything ready on the boat. And I've already told far more people than I should have, so there is definitely absolutely no backing out. But mum's getting a hip surgery, so I'm gonna help out on my parents' property because they're gonna need a hand in spring doing a lot of jobs. And we're gonna try and raise $50,000 and I'm gonna run a marathon a day every morning while the girls sleep and then do jobs on, uh, on their property during the day to help them out. And we're gonna make a few videos and a few episodes and I think that that is going to be a phenomenal use of our time. I think it's going to be amazing for our family. I think it's going to be amazing for the, the charity that we're going to do it for, which is which is Kids Undercover. So they they house and educate um, kids who are already homeless or at risk of being homeless. So I just feel like if I've learned anything in the last couple of years is that we're all a lot closer to the line, I think, than we may have realised. And I think the last couple of years have shown that with housing prices, especially like in Australia. I think it's a really good cause and I think it's something that um, if we can get enough people behind it's going to keep me going for the 50 days because a marathon a day for 50 days is going to hurt, it's going to hurt a lot. But I think it's doable. I'm also not thinking about all 50, I'm thinking about the first one and then I'll just accept that that is my life and that's what I do. I run a marathon in the morning and then I work on my parents' property. So that's the big announcement, 50, 50 marathons in 50 days, run a marathon a day for 50 days and raise $50,000 for charity. But I just wanted to say as well, if that's something you wanna see and you wanna see more of that sort of stuff, then sharing and liking the videos and subscribing and getting the word out about what we're doing, you know, makes all the difference. And, you know, if you tell people there's a single dad who's sailing around the country and he's gonna run 50 marathons in 50 days, I think that's something that people wanna hear and I've got no better ideas of how I should be spending my time, so, this is what I'm doing. crap where did that bring it over here oh my god 
That is a piece of shell, Hallie, that's been in my foot the entire time we were doing that run. Somehow, I don't think that staying in this apartment long, I just don't think it would be legendary at all.